All right, Blues, welcome back to The Daily Blues. It's episode two. It's Tuesday and it's match day. City take on Juventus tonight in our first Champions League game of the season. And we've got a few little newsy bits, some sound bites from yesterday and from this morning to talk about going into tonight's game. First of all, one of the best goalkeepers of our generation, World Cup winner, not yet Champions League winner and hopefully not this year, Gianluigi Buffon has come out and said that Joe Hart is one of, if not the best goalkeeper in the world, which is quite a, a massive shout considering he's so overlooked. I think he's massively, massively underrated. He's been a rock for us ever since he was dropped last season. And if we look back into the Champions League last season, and maybe even before that, go back to that Dortmund game at home when he was fantastic. And then last season, both games against Barcelona, the penalty against Messi that kept us in the tie, and then that performance at the new Camp was just phenomenal. Without his performance that night, we would have been totally humiliated. It could have been 8, 9, 10 to Barcelona. So I, th I think it's a big shout by Buffon, but a very nice little bit of encouragement for Joe Hart going into tonight's game. Some team news for both sides, some injury news. Nazarene Fernandinho didn't train with City yesterday, which led to some panic, none more so than by me, because I'm a massive fan of Fernandinho. I think he's integral to our team, especially in the Champions League when we're going to need him in that midfield with Yaya. Um, but Pellegrini has come out and given us all a bit of a sigh of relief by saying that Although they didn't train, they were in the gym, they just weren't 100% after the weekend's game. So we expect, and Pellegrini expects, that Fernandinho will be fine to start tonight, and hopefully he does. Um, Aguero, though, is out, like we said yesterday. He will not play any part tonight. Hopefully he'll be OK by weekend, but I'm sure we're going to find out this afternoon the results of the scan to his knee injury. But hopefully he'll be back sooner rather than later. You never know with these Aguero injuries, so fingers crossed for that one. Juventus team news, they are without Marquisio, who is a massive part of their team. So that's a bit of good news, especially with their midfield. So just mismatch after last season's clear out, really. No Vidal, no Pirlo, of course. They left in summer. So it's just Pogba, really, who has got a lot of responsibility. And it's going to be amazing to see Pogba versus Yaya, Master versus Apprentice, just to see who can come out on top tonight. Hopefully, of course, it's Yaya. Juve without a win now all season, which is pretty staggering considering the season they had last last year um, getting to the Champions League final walk in Serie A they've been awful this season so hopefully they don't find their form tonight and without Marquisio, Asamoah, Kadira, there's no reason why City even without Aguero we can't go on attack them like we do use our pace down the wings Silva and De Bruyne are hopefully starting together uh, I'm, I'm not very confident but I have, I have faith in this team now. Company said yesterday in the press conference, very rightly so, City have no excuses this season in the Champions League. And I agree with him. Let us know what you think about tonight's game in the comments below. Like the video if you're enjoying our daily series again. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you tomorrow. I think we won 2-1. 3-0. 3-0, we won 3-0. 3-0, we won 3-0. We won 3-0. Top of the league.